Saniac. I was doing Sane for a while, and then I realized that it's biting on the dude in New York. I wasn't trying to, you know, I was just trying to put up pieces. And so I started doing characters over letters, and that's kind of where I'm at right now with my street stuff, is just doing these giant characters with kind of, you know, eyes, big eyes, looking out, um, almost as a way for me to look at people. I think a lot about the apocalypse and just the end of the world, and I just watched that movie, 12 Monkeys, where, uh, I don't know, have you ever seen it? You know, where they like, uh, they go back to that one place, like in the, under the bridge, and there's like spray painted on the wall, like, like two billion deaths, is this the source or something? And I, I don't know, I was just all thinking about people that like put up work that last through the apocalypse and they come back to it and they're like, ah, like this guy knew. So that was, I guess, I had been hearing a lot of reports on Ebola um, on my way down there. So I thought I might have some satire. Yeah, um, I thought it'd be funny. And you know, if the apocalypse did happen, they could come back and be like, this guy knew, like he knew. If only we would have listened. Graffiti moving into the galleries and that whole street aesthetic moving into galleries but we're also, it's also reciprocating too where the galleries are moving into the streets and you get really awesome artists putting up huge public works, you know, and uh, I think that's, that's a big change. Um, there's also, I've noticed a, a very sharp divide between graffiti writers and street artists um, and who considers themselves what, and, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, it's interesting seeing artists come into the graffiti writer's world and try to coexist with them. That's that's the biggest change I've probably seen, I think, in the past like five, ten years. Yeah. It's more art stuff.